ready? Hi everybody, I'm Doug Davis with Cowtown with uh, Dennis Houck who's doing the filming here. We're going to show everybody today our, our latest project here at Cowtown. Uh, we're building a bow fishing boat of which we've built several over the years, but uh, we've kind of built them custom. But we're working on a boat now that we're going to mass produce and uh, it's a boat that we will keep here in stock at Cowtown. I'm just going to show you a little bit about it. And keep in mind this is a work in progress. So anyway, first thing I'm going to show you, uh, we, we've got the gigging or the bow fishing platform up here. We've raised it up uh, several inches here to get you a little higher. We're going to outfit this particular boat with the new LED lights. Now by doing that, combined with the Evan 115 E-Tech that we're putting on the boat, we will not have to run a generator in this boat. That's going to make it uh, much quieter inside the boat. That's going to make it a lot lighter not having to carry the generator around because our Evan Reed E-Tech is putting out 133 amps off the alternator system. So we will not need a generator once we get the lights on this boat. Now this isn't going to be just a, a bow fishing platform. This is going to be a boat that's going to be very convertible into a bass boat, a fishing boat, or a recreational boat. Now uh, some of the things that we've done a little different uh, typical bow fishing boats, they mount a very long shaft trolling motor off the rail. Now what we've done, our trolling motor is going to mount down here as a standard, like a standard bass boat would. But when we want to deploy that trolling motor, we've got a lid here that we can raise, lift our trolling motor up and drop it down. Now what that does for us when we pull the rail off the boat, or the platform off the boat, to convert it just to a fishing boat, we don't have to move our trolling motor. The lights and everything will come off of this. Well, the platform and lights are designed to be lifted off together in one uh, in one uh, one swoop. So all you're going to have to do is unplug your lights, lift the rail system off, and you're back on your conventional boat. The other features on the boat, down here on the actual fishing deck itself, it's got standard storage like any other uh, bass style boat does. But one thing we've added in this particular model is this big storage box right here. It can be used for a storage box, but the way we've actually designed it is you're doing your bow kills off your fishing. It does have a drain in it. That way you can drop the fish that you're shooting right down in the box so you don't have them flopping all over the floor of the boat. Now this boat, instead of our usual carpeting, it does have a spray-in liner called Scorpion Liner. It is a spray liner meant specifically for boats. Um, other features, we've got storage under all three of the sea compartments, which is pretty standard for our Legend SS boats anyway. We do a really big rear live well, as we are completely aware that most of our customers aren't just bass fishing. Uh, they like crappie fishing, they like cat fishing. We're doing a removable divider in the live well here, so if you're putting bigger fish in them, you just take the divider out and leave it at home or put it in the storage. Now back here at the back of the boat, a lot going on back here and some very different stuff from what a lot of our customers are used to seeing. These pods off the back of the boat here are called pontoons. Now what that is designed to do, we've equipped the boat, the Evergreen E-Tech, with a hydraulic jack plate. Now what that jack plate does is, I know a lot of us are using jets in this neck of the woods, and we can raise and lower the engine straight up or straight down. Now if we're sitting in very shallow water on a lake fishing some flats, we would lift that jack plate all the way up. Now because the pontoons are back here, on a typical boat, a jet or a prop, when you take off, the boat squats in the back and then takes off. Now the pontoons and the hydraulic jack plate allow us to do when we jack that motor all the way up, and we have the pontoons on there, this boat does not squat when we take off. This boat will easily take off in 10 inches of water, which is very shallow, and some of our jet boats would struggle doing that without pontoons on them. So it's going to be a very shallow water running boat. I mean, this boat will handle 10 inches of water, even though it's a prop motor. Um, but that's just some of the features that we're doing right now. Next week, we should have this boat completely rigged and ready, uh, ready to be seen and ready to sell. So that's what we're doing here today at Caltown.